Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. Our product review today is the Can-Am Maverick 1000 Turbo. Now this thing's 131 horsepower and it absolutely flies. We also brought out the Polaris 1000 Turbo so we could compare these guys head to head and we've been doing that all day and in the next few weeks, we'll have a show that shows that as well. But for right now, let's take a good close look at this Can-Am and show you all of its cool features. This thing is a great time, man. It's got tons of power, suspension's awesome, and man, it, it, we're just having a blast out here in the dunes. Now up here in the front, we have projector beam headlights on it, double A arm front suspension. You've got two and a half inch Fox podium shocks on this with 16 inches of travel, and you also have drilled rotors on this to keep your brakes nice and cool. Now in the back, they have a suspension that's quite a bit different than others manufacturers out there and it's a torsional trailing A-arm. You have your Fox podium shock, two and a half inch with uh, 16 inches of travel. Plus here's your A-arms, the, the upper and the lower A-arm. And then it's hooked to your torsion bar right here. And that's why it's called a torsional trailing arm. And you can see the wheel is actually behind your A-arms. And then you have your connecting rods here in the back. And it really allows the machine to kind of link up very well in the sand and other, you know, in rocky positions, it can really flex around a lot and move through it quite well. Now here in the back, it doesn't have a whole lot of storage area, but it has enough, and they actually have a tray system that can go in here as well. And part of the reason is because you have your big intercooler here to keep your turbo cool. Now, one of the things I like probably the best about the Can-Am, and that's their seat and cockpit area. This seat is very plush. You could hang out in this thing all day long, extremely comfortable. And there's a lot of room in here for a bigger person. Of course, you've got two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and you have an eco mode and a sport mode. And those are actually kind of nice, especially if you're letting your kids drive the machine or you just, you just need a little bit less power and want to get better gas mileage. Maybe you're out here in the middle of the desert and you're worried you're not going to get back to the truck. Well, that's a good button to have. So you can run that thing in eco mode and, and it knocks down the horsepower a little bit. The other button it has in here is your DPS switch, which basically adjusts how much power steering you're gonna have. You have your two different keys. You have your black key and your gray key. And the black key gives you full power and the gray key gives you about 80% power. Taking the power away doesn't sound right, but trust me, it actually works a lot better. Well, if you'd like to check out this Can-Am 1000 Turbo, get into Weller's Recreation and Camas. They'll be glad to show you this one, as well as the 1000 Turbo we did last week on the show. But coming up, we're going to have these machines going head to head so you can see how they do against each other. Well, I'm Darren Kinder. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like that video, you're gonna wanna watch all of our other AYL videos. You're gonna wanna like it, you're gonna wanna share it, and you're gonna wanna subscribe, right? See all the buttons right here? <laughs> this is what you're gonna wanna do, click, right? Click, click, click. Click on them, because we have some really cool videos, all kinds of behind the scenes stuff, bloopers of Alicia crashing and stuff. Shh. Why are you gonna sell me out like that, Steven? <laughs> so you wanna click all of these things and subscribe to our channel, because At Your Leisure is awesome, and uh, we'll see you here for more videos.